Hey -o. Hey Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens, it's Omni Dog for Omni Dogs Vault. And I had an excellent idea sent in to me from India. From, and I am going to try my best on this name, so I apologize if I don't get it right, but this is a great idea from Anurban Banerji uh, to say, give my opinion, say what the omnibuses are that have the best extra content in them. And there are a lot of omnis behind me. And so this is completely subjective. So I just took a small sampling of what I've already looked at, what I've read. And um, I found the 16 uh, best uh, um, omnis that had extra material. And this is what I looked for. I looked for extra covers, variant covers. I looked for sketches. Um, I looked for um, maybe some scripts. And, okay, scripts, uh, sketches. I looked for some um, uh, extra drawings, uh, some, character, some character drawings besides sketches. Uh, I looked for some uh, some layouts, some character layouts. So that's what I like to find. Uh, all all four of those things really. If I can find some variation, some variants, some character roughs, some layouts, and some script work. If you can find some of that now, the issue is that DC usually saves a lot of that for their absolutes, so you don't find a lot of those in their omnis. Now I do, I did find some in some DC omnis. I found more in Marvel omnis. So there's about 11 Marvel Omnis and about five DC Omnis, or maybe more. Um, one, two, three, four, three, three, three. Yeah, probably about that. Um, but it's mostly Marvel Omnis that have um, some extra stuff. Not, not all Omnis have extra stuff. Some Omnis went right up to the very end and didn't have anything. So I just grabbed what I could, did a real quick uh, and dirty... Um, subjective look through and and just said this is what I found so this is part one I don't know when part two will be I'll have to go through uh, my collection and uh, just see what I find um, and maybe I'll do image books and dark horse books next because I am pretty sure those uh, tall image Rick Remender books come with a lot of extras if I uh, remember correctly and I think those Hellboy books do too the library editions so um, I will uh, there may be a variation on this in the near future so let's have me shut up about the setup and just get going on some uh, books that uh, Omnis that have extra extras extra good stuff so we can start with um, Marvel's cosmic books I did not pick Annihilation because it's too hard to find. But Annihilation Conquest can be found. And I liked Annihilation Conquest better than I liked Annihilation anyway. And it has in the back a good guide to what's going on in Annihilation anyway. Annihilation and Annihilation Conquest can get kind of messy. There's an awful lot going on. So this has a good countdown. Annihilation um, minus 41, Annihilation Day minus 40. And it goes, it gives the countdown, Annihilation Day plus 12. So it gives you a good guide. Annihilation Day plus 55, so it gives you a good guide of what's going on. Uh, Annihilation Day plus 95, plus 206. Then, and so you've got all the Annihilation Day stuff that happened. Then you get a very detailed guide to the characters. Here's Captain Universe, and it gives you first appearance, and then it gives you Groot, Half World, uh, 
Mantis. So you see, this is a very detailed thing. If you don't know these characters, and I didn't know a lot of these characters, Phalanx going into it, um, Star-Lord. I didn't know a lot of these characters going into it, so this was a really helpful guide. And then it gives you uh, character sketches, some extra character art. Some extra stuff here. This is the kind of stuff, whoop, this is the kind of stuff I really like. Seeing the variant stuff and the extra drawings and the extra character sketches. So this qualifies as extra stuff that I like. So that's Annihilation Conquest. Then you move on to the next book. Road to War of Kings, which is a, a book I'm currently reading, so it doesn't really spoil it for me to go to the back and start with its guide, which is, this book is a big monster, so you get some extra covers, and you get another guide which is good. I like these guides. So you get guides for more and more pages of guides, lots of pages of guides here. So you can see lots of pages of guides and then we get into some covers and then we get into here's an interesting thing the creative process by Fraser Irving and I think that's interesting two sketches creative process here's unused cover options by Clint Langley and so, lots of stuff here. Lot, oh, look, I mean, tons of stuff. Marvel Girl. Here's uh, Uncanny X-Men stuff on them. So lots of good stuff in this book. Then we go to War of Kings. And this also has... A nice guide at the end. Marvel Spotlight War of Kings. There's a nice cover. And this has a lot of interviews at the end of the book. With uh, Abnett and Lanning, DNA. So this is interesting. Lots of interviews. And a lot of creative process stuff. So this is uh, talking about Darkhawk, Black Bolt. You got some character stuff. You got some extra covers. Well, this is cool. Uh, and then we get into some drawings. So this is extremely nice. These cosmic books all come with a lot of good extras and same with War of Kings Aftermath, Realm of Kings. Here's a good solid thick chunk of extras. This is the Thanos source book. Let's see if I can get a better these books are heavy, so this is really hard for me. So this is a, like a guidebook, Thanos source book, and this is pretty, this is a lot. Then you got drawings, sketches, cracking the cosmic code with DNA, and then you've got lots of sketches. 
lots of drawings, lots of extra material. So these cosmic books, holy smoke, that was really heavy. So these cosmic books are really good for extra material. Now I had to use the dust jackets for bookmarks. I know I'm not supposed to do that. Okay. So let's move on to Seven Soldiers of Victory, a DC book. Another big book. Um, this book had a bonus section. This book had a good chunk of stuff for it, for its uh, bonus section. So they had covers. Let's see if I can get this up a little bit better. There we go. So we got some covers here. Some more covers. More covers. I remember this cover. And then what's this? The Evolution of the Seven Soldiers. So this is going to be drawings. Shining Knight, Guardian. So this is going to be how they were drawn. Zatanna, that's an interesting evolution of her. And so you've got a lot of drawings. She the Queen, Morgane. And then some script stuff. Some drawings, some more script stuff. So this is good. Pretty good for DC. Because they normally, as I said, reserve that kind of stuff for uh, absolutes. Now, I like this one because this is House of Secrets, and you've got Rain, this girl who is a runaway and finds the House of Secrets, and then it has to be a witness to all the weirdness that goes on in House of Secrets. So she's the narrator for all the extra bonus material that's in House of Secrets. And that, I think, is really cool that there's a narrator for the extra bonus stuff in House of Secrets. So they call it Restoration, and there's Rain right there, and she says, Wow, 700 pages and you still want more? You are a glutton for punishment. Fine. Here's some secret stuff no one's ever seen. And so, and then she goes on, and they talk about extra stuff, and she's narrating the whole time all the extra stuff. And it's really cool. So there's a lot of really cool stuff in House of Secrets, which is actually a really good book. I really dig this. There's more stuff. I just don't have the arm strength to show it. These Omnis are so heavy. Um, now, these next two books... I was uh, not surprised th to see that they had a lot of extras to show because there's so many variant covers of my gal Harley. Um, they have a ton. This is volume two, I think. Yeah, this is volume two without the dust jacket. So I put a bookmark in there. But uh, the New 52 run, I haven't caught up with her yet in Rebirth, uh, but the New 52 run had at least two variants, had two covers for every issue. And I was collecting them all. And like issue one had, okay, so this is, this is the second, this is the second volume. So these are going to be uh, like issues 17. And so they're going to, they're going to be two issues, two covers per issue at least. And so there's going to be a ton of cover variants. Ton of cover variants. And then there's some breakdowns. Panel breakdowns. Some uh, alternate version drawing of Harley Quinn. 
cover sketches. This is the kind of stuff I really like. When you get all this kind of stuff. Alternate color by Alex Sinclair. So this is good from Harley. That's volume two. And this is volume one. And this is when like issue one, there were like seven variant covers of issue one. I know, because I got them all. And even issue zero had three or four that I got. This is the one I, that I got, and I wanted it signed by Adam Hughes, and I couldn't find it. And I finally found it a couple days ago. So here are all these alternate covers for Harley. Here's the Mad variant, the Robot Chicken variant, Robot Chicken. And sketches. And some stuff like this. So that's fun. Lots of good stuff in there. So uh, one guy that always includes lots of stuff in his books is Jonathan Hickman. So obviously, I didn't want to include Fantastic Four One as something that you guys would be looking for for extras because that's impossible to find. Fantastic Four Two can still be found. That's got a ton of extras. So let's see these extras. Blank page. So we've got all uh, different covers. There's a lot of cool covers here. So that's one thing about modern comics is you got lots of variant covers that you won't get with the Golden and Silver Age Omnis because they didn't have the variant covers back then. So here's all kinds of variant covers. And let's see what else they got. Variant covers, variant covers, variant covers. <laughs> variant covers. Lots of variant covers. Of course, this was FF and Fantastic Four, I believe. Yeah, Fantastic Four and FF. So that this is mostly alt uh, variants. FF six through twenty-three and Fantastic Four six hundred through six eleven and six hundred five point one. So it's going to be mostly variant covers on this. And another book by, I'm going to break my arm here. Avengers Volume 2. Now this has Avengers and New Avengers, so there not only are there two comic books, but there's going to be variant covers for both. So look at how much, look at how much extra material there is. There's just a ton of variant covers here. Take my word for it. Lots of boss covers. And I mean, I'm just flipping through them. There's tons of extra covers, homage covers. And then there's artwork and stuff, which is cool. That's what I really like the process to see the process of what it looks like as they uh, do the breakdowns and things. This is what I think is really cool. So that's Avengers by Hickman volume two. We're coming up on, I'm saving it for last, but there's a gold mine. It's, it's out of print, but it's not that hard to find for a good price. I see it pop up pretty regularly um, for a good price. 
online. Here's Grace in a DC book. This thing has a lot of good extras. As Agent 37, his personal files. So this is all extra material. This is all extra stuff. Series Pitch by Tim Seeley. These drawings, they're cool. That speaks for itself. Covers. More covers. Movie cover. Big Trouble in Little China movie homage. I don't know how I'm going to hold up ecstatics. There we have some drawings. Some breakdowns. Some cover sketches. So this is really good for DC. This is really good for them. We've got some cover sketches here. So Grayson's got a lot of good stuff. And we're getting down to our last four books. Oh, um, Guardians of the Galaxy solo classic. For an old book, this has a lot of, uh, for, uh, for older material, this actually has a lot of uh, interesting stuff. Star-Lord, the special edition, advertising stuff. Covers, interiors, paintings, more paintings. So for, I guess this is considered Bronze Age, here's some covers, famous covers. For Bronze Age, this has a lot of extra stuff. I actually really like this book a lot. It's got a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff in it that I really like. Um, here's one of my favorite books that came out a couple years ago. Star Wars, Darth Vader. This has a lot of cool back matter in it. We got this. Some Darth Vader cover ideas. Some drawings. Kieran Gillen's writing notes. That's pretty cool. Uh, and here's some really cool covers by Alex Ross. Can't get much better than that. So yeah, there's a lot of cool extras in this. And this book is so big, you're just going to have to take my word for it that there are cool extras. I can't hold it up. <laughs> there's cool extras in this book. It's too big. <laughs> I can't open it up. Ecstatics has cool extras in it. Just take my word for it. Ecstatics has cool extras in it. I can't hold it up. <laughs> so there's two books left. And one of them's from DC. And the, the Golden Child is from Marvel. Um, and so Planetary has some really cool stuff. Covers from Planetary Books, which um, were remarkable. The covers were really cool. So if that's all it has, 
And then it's got some scripts. So it's got a lot of script work, which is pretty interesting to see how Warren Ellis thinks. And then it's got sketch work. And a teaser ad, which is cool. And then I saved the best for last. Here's the gold mine of all bonus material things that I could find. I'll keep looking through stuff. Secret Warriors. Now this is out of print, but I see it frequently pop up for 110 bucks, just slightly over cover price. Um, this has a mountain of extra stuff in it. Um, and I'll take the time to go over it nicely. First of all, first of all, this is a great book. It's worth it to be in your collection got a cover gallery so there's tons of covers and this is another Hickman book so all these are interconnecting covers more secret warriors covers let's see what else we got here that was so cool there's some more cool covers then bonus material script stuff here's some script stuff There's lots of script stuff. More script stuff. There's pages and pages of script stuff. Then we get to sketchbook. color sketchbook and then black and white sketchbook and the end of the sketchbook so this had everything you want in it had all four things that I want in a book and this book of course is great I love secret warriors so those are the 16 omnis I could find that had great bonus material so if you're into bonus material those are 16 Omnis that are worth looking for, and they have lots of great bonus material in them. Besides great stories, they also have great bonus material. So thanks for watching. Please uh, feel free to comment. I always respond to comments. Please uh, feel uh, free to hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, peace and love, peace and love. I can barely lift my arm. Oh, those omnis are heavy. Peace and love. Peace and love.